Stories connect us together. And storytelling has been an art that has been around for millennia. But I can tell you that when I was growing up, if you'd said storytelling to me, I would have thought about kids' stories. It hasn't been until recently that there's been what I would call a resurgence of storytelling in, in America. How many of you have ever heard of uh, the radio show This American Life? A couple of you. How many of you have heard about, in New York, The Moth? A couple of you. There are a number of different organizations that are local and national that are really bringing storytelling back to its rightful place. And I've been involved in a number of them. And in fact, there's a number of people in this organization who have taken storytelling from Toastmasters and have brought it out into the, into the larger world. Jack Newman, uh, Gautam, uh, Barry has been in a couple of storytelling groups. There's a number of us who have done that. So tonight I wanted to, to share with you a little bit about storytelling. I feel really passionate about this and I've been to, a no, as I said, a number of different festivals talking about storytelling, practicing storytelling, and I think it's something that we can do better. You know, Toastmasters has, in fact, a storytelling manual. And uh, if you go beyond the CC, you can practice story storytelling in the storytelling manual. The thing is that with Toastmasters, we learn a lot of the basics of storytelling. Good storytelling includes vocal variety. It includes using, using the stage well. It includes so many of the different skills that we, we practice in the CC. But there are differences between giving a speech and telling a story. I, I thought about this and I said, you know, what are those differences? I would say, first of all, when you're telling a story, the, st the message, the message comes later. The story is all about the journey. Whereas when you're giving a speech, there are stories are, that are part of good speeches, but those stories are there to support the message. So it's really, a, it's really about a different objective uh, when, when it comes to storytelling versus giving a speech. So what are the elements of, of a story? And I went ahead and I, this is, this is not something that you will find in a, a journal or a book or, or some kind of expert manual on storytelling. These are Todd Greenwood's eight steps. But I think they work. The first is open. We want to, and this, you know, it's not going to sound that uh, unusual. We want to open with something that is going to grab the audience. The second is context, the, the, the W's, the, the why, the when, the where. When we start a story, we want to be immediately brought into the context of where that story is. And the most important one is the who because we really want to care about who this story is about. We want to know who the story is about, and we want to care about that person. Next is conflict. Every good story has conflict. And the whole point of the story is to find out in that, how that conflict gets resolved. So we want to bring that conflict in as early as possible. We want the audience to have an implicit or an explicit question in their head. What is going to happen? What is going to happen? Number four, chronology. Guess what? We live life forwards. We live life forwards. And when we're telling stories, we want to tell stories forward as well. It's the way we work as human beings. Good stories are told in chronological order. First, what happens second, what happens third? Rising action. Look, you set up the conflict in the beginning, but then you get a sense that something is going to happen, and it's happening faster and faster. We're, we're, we're coming somewhere in this story. And finally, where do we come? We come to the climax. It's the point at which that conflict is resolved. We don't know if it's going to be resolved for good. We don't know if it's going to be resolved for bad. 
but something happens. And then resolution. There is a point after the climax where some, where there is a resolution. There is a, a sense that things have moved on to the next level. And then finally, reflection. What did this really mean? Okay, in three minutes I'm going to tell a story and I want you to all hold up your hands and tell me which of these different elements I'm doing. So number one. So I'm going to say number one. Okay. 99X is my radio station. It was 1972. I was 11 years old. My sister was 7 years old, and we listened to our most favorite radio station in New York, WPLJ. They had this contest. WPLJ is my radio station. If you answered the phone that way, you could win a big amount of money. My dad, my dad was out of work. And every day, my mom was telling us about how things were really, really bad in the house. In fact, the dining room was like a triage center at the hospital. On the dining room table, he would every month put the bills that had to be paid on the left side, the bills that could be put off on the right side, and it was just horrendous. My sister, though, was so into this contest. Every time the phone would ring, she would run over and she would yell, WPLG is my radio station! <laughs> of course, it was Nana or Grandma. And Mom was saying, Susie, this is crazy. We have people who are calling the house and you're embarrassing us. But Susie persisted. She kept on answering the phone, WPLG is my radio station! My mother said, look, there's 10 million people in New York City. They could be calling anybody. They're not going to be calling our house. Meanwhile, the jackpot kept on rising. Every single day, we would listen to the radio. We would hear people on the radio say, hello? And the radio announcer saying, if you had answered WPLJ as my radio station, you would have won. And the money was getting bigger and bigger. Meanwhile, Dad was getting more and more nervous. Things were not going well. <sighs> Finally, my mother put her foot down. She said, Susie, look. We have people who are calling the house because Dad needs a job and it's just embarrassing. Please stop it. One night, Dad was doing the bills. It was horrible. Suddenly, the phone rang. She ran over. Hello? On the other end of the line, the DJ said, if you had answered WPLJ is my radio station, you would have won. And to God, $22,560. Huh? What? <laughs> we ran over to the radio. We turned it on. <laughs> Just in time to hear my sister's poor little voice. We all went over to the, to the dining room. We sat around. What did this mean? We were such losers. <laughs> my mother said, that's it. Enough of this. Enough of this. We're going out to dinner. And we did. We went out to dinner. You know, years later, I look at that story and I say, what does it mean? We really were losers at that time, but maybe we were, because we still have each other, and we still have stories, and stories are what ties us together. <laughs> the eight rules of storytelling, I've left them on your seats. I also have resources. If you want to learn more about storytelling, I absolutely invite you. It's lots of fun. This is Dustin. Thank you.